And my dick feels okay. like it. Hello, welcome back to the Sticky Show. I know things probably look like how they did during the first episode. But I'm wearing a better shirt now. Working on it, working cool, on it, cool, working cool. on it. Uh, so yeah, we did film this on the same day as the first day. Hopefully you have been enjoying Thursdays and hopefully you are ready to hear some more answers to questions that you have asked us on Instagram. You guys have a lot of relationship questions for us. I love it. I love answering them. I feel like whenever we talk about our relationship, it gives people some helpful yeah, little, advice. Little boosty, yeah. little boosty. Little boosty. Like people actually write to me and be like, I tried that and it worked. Yeah. So I like that. Or they're like, I tried the arrow thing. It didn't work. Thanks a lot. <laughs> ruined my life. Like, damn, oh, damn, damn. Sorry. sorry about that. Sorry. All right, you ready? Okay. We got Moscow meals this time instead of coffee. Love it. We're prepared. What is your favorite memory together? I feel like we have the same one, probably. Do you know what I know? Oh, Are you thinking what I'm oh, thinking? Oh shit, it's all about to come apart. Um, oh yeah, I mean, no doubt. Yeah. Want to say it on three? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Our wedding wedding day. day. Yes. <clears throat> Easy. That was by far the best day of my entire life. Yeah, it's and you know the days leading up to our wedding, I was like, this wedding stuff is bullshit. Like, this is not worth all the stress. Steve hardly had to stress about it. He had hey. to stress about my stress. What? The morning of, I couldn't get my bow tie tied, but then I got a tie. What? We were ready to elope. I was like this close to yeah. eloping because yeah. it was so stressful planning it. And I don't even care about Weddings. No. I was just like, how, when does it end? Like, when do I stop picking shit out? I don't like this. It's a lot. It was crazy. Uh, so I hear. But the actual party day, the wedding day. Oh, it's so fun. Who wears the pants? I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts, I know. So me. Damn. Cool. Who wears the pants in the bedroom, dog? No. Neither of us. No, We're no, naked. No, we don't wear pants. We get naked. But Steve does keep his boxers on. I keep my boxers on. <laughs> do you look at other couples and go, we're better than them? Yeah. yeah, all the time. Show. When do you figure out it was time to move in with each other? Did we even talk about it? Oh yeah, I remember bringing it up and it was a fight. Really? Yeah, well we were fighting a lot in year one. Yeah, true, as But you know. this one, I specifically remember uh, being like, I'm kind of feeling it and then Steve said, he didn't want me to move in because I have baggage. <laughs> referring to my cat. I was afraid. Referring I was afraid. to my cat. He afraid. said my cats were baggage. Cats were a He weapon. called my cats baggage. They, you know what? And I came to find out they are baggage. How are they baggage? Joe is like walking baggage. Look at him, he heard you. Joe, you're baggage, bro. Aww. You're baggage. Every day is the first day he's met us. It's like uh, 51st dates with him. Yeah. Every single he day. He looks at us like, who the fuck He's are like, you? yo, who the fuck? Okay, who the fuck are you? And we're like, yo, dude, it's <laughs> same. <laughs> and then he kind of takes a second and he's like, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then if you make a slight movement like that, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> But when, when did we actually decide to move in? So I didn't bring it up again after that. That was, by the way, only two months in. Well, it was my it was idea me. after that. Yeah, and that's what I, I waited. I was like, I'm never bringing this up again. Yeah. When he's ready, he can ask me. And I did. He did like a month later. A month later. Yeah. What a good guy. He <laughs> could have just said yes the first time. I was afraid. I, it was yeah. still early, so I, I and I. Um, but we were both feeling it. Yeah, no, for sure. Because I wanted to marry you. I me too. But I wanted to marry you like really quickly. Like my best man, Michael Gallagher, I ended up telling him like within the first six months, I was like, I'm gonna ask her to marry me, dude. Like I'm literally gonna go get a ring and do the whole thing. And he was like, yo, bro, just fucking chill. <laughs> just chill, bro. He's like, you're 27 years old, you're fine. Yeah. And I, and I was like, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I even talked to my dad about it too. And he's like, yeah, I think Michael's right. I think you can chill. So I chill. Cool guys. Thanks for believing in me. Right. It worked no, out it's great. Good, it's good friend advice. I get it. Yeah. But you know, feelings wise, we both felt that way. Like I, I, know. I remember after our first date, I texted my friend, do you want chicken or steak at the wedding? Yeah, I mean, dude. This is before I gave up both chicken and steak. And we told each other we were in love with each other within two weeks. Yeah, I said it first. She said it first. I get to say that forever. That's true. Do you guys ever try to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Batman 1989. One of my favorites. Who can get the most cranky and when? Probably Steve. Yeah, me. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, Steve. wait, Frank? Totally Steve. I mean, you. <laughs> nah. What were your first impressions of each other? I met Steve at a premiere of a movie that um, I was in. I was on stage with the cast 
and Steve was in the audience and he asked a question during the Q&A. Yeah. And he was just trolling. I was being he a shithead. Just, yeah, he was being a shithead. He was like picking yeah. out technical things oh, yeah, and yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just trolling the director. And I was like, yeah. he's funny. <clears throat> so I thought he was pretty funny. And you didn't even know me. And I didn't know you That's yet. That's a big no, this is the first, the first impression. And I was in a long-term relationship and he was um, not funny. And yeah, I tough. was like, I had always been like, I am totally gonna marry him because he was really nice to me sure. and like we got along and it's fine. Mm -hmm. But like I didn't find him very interesting. <laughs> Jesus. We grew apart. That's better than any fucking diss track I've ever heard. <laughs> so yeah, so the first time I saw him, he was making jokes. I thought he was funny, and then I thought he was cute, and then he was dancing with his girlfriend next to the jukebox, and I was like, oh man, I wish my boyfriend would just spontaneously dance with me to yeah. to music from a jukebox. Like yeah. I just was like daydreaming about that. You talked more to my mom than to me. I did. I actually hit it off with her mom that night. Do you even remember? It's like me and your mom were on our first date. Do you remember meeting me that night? What um, was your first uh, to be like, perfectly memory? honest? I don't know. Yeah, I bet not because we barely spoke. We did. Yeah. I just observed you from afar. But I do remember meeting you. Yeah, what was your first memory of meeting At me? VidCon. Really? That was the yeah. first? Yeah. Oh. That's the first time I actually got to meet you. I felt like I'd be like, yo, I'm Steve. Yo, you're Nikki. Like, I know who you oh. are and you know who I am, but we never actually did a video together at that point. What was your first impression then? Oh, I thought you were a smoke show. Oh. Smoke show deluxe, yeah. That's it? Um, I didn't know a lot about you. I thought, yeah, I thought that the character that you played was very much who you were because I didn't know you. Right, which it wasn't. And so she was always this ditzy dumb person on videos and so I was always like, oh, so maybe that's who she is. I'm so not a person. Yeah, exactly. I wish you were more like that. I love that and I love the Jersey accent thing. <laughs> Ever since Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, man. and he likes me to be more of Robbie's I love that shit, bro. Sorry, daddy. I love that shit, dude. <laughs> I, I don't even care. I don't even care. What? Come at me. I don't care. First kiss experience. I think this is interesting because it wasn't just like, ooh, we went on a date and I kind of met this guy and I kind of like him. It was like, I've been friends with this person. Yeah, that's interesting. For so long. Yeah. Like we were friends for three years mm -hmm. before our first date. Yeah. Because we were both in serious relationships. Yeah. And then we both got dumped. But then we were, we were pretty hot and heavy pretty early. Yeah, because that first date was amazing. That was, great. That was <clears throat> hands down the best first date I've ever been on. Me too. Oh God, I hope you. I hope so. <laughs> we um, missed the movie three times. Yeah. Because we couldn't stop. Why did we even go to the fucking movie? I, well, because so of stupid. honestly nerves. But yeah, that first date was amazing. We we talked about football. We talked about comedy. Yeah. I was like, this is my dream guy. I wrote in a journal. I want to find somebody exactly like Steve Green. He just had the qualities that I liked in a boyfriend. I didn't think it was going to be him. And so I'm just like hoping that he is who I think he is. And he was. I was like, I am gonna blow this chick out of the fucking water. That's what I said. And he did. So. I just remember that you smelled good and your lips were soft. Like his hands are soft but his lips are like made of angel berry dust. Yeah, you know I'm saying? And my dick feels okay. like an okay. angel. Okay. No, it feels, no, it feels like an angel. That's what my grandma told me. Now you're getting cocky. Anyway, that first kiss was magical and I was like, ooh, God, I wanna bang this dude. I wanna bang him so hard yeah, right now. True. That's true, but I, I was felt like, that way. I'm a lady. I was so down. I am a lady. Oof. And then he's like, ooh, you dropped this and he, and he slipped something in my purse. And yeah. it, it was a handwritten note on a Ralph's gift certificate. Like, hey, now you don't have to steal from craft service. I was too poor to afford groceries, so I would steal from craft service. Yep. And that's how I was surviving and that was actually the truth. Yeah. And so he actually planned that before the date. Yeah. I could not believe that. That charmed the pants off me. <laughs> I still charm those things off. I enjoy it. Okay. I enjoy Again. it. Again. I enjoy it. Again. What's your favorite thing about each other? Favorite? Yeah. I don't even know how to answer that. Me neither, because there's so many things. I love how understanding you are. I love that you're willing to listen. I love your dick. Thank you. I love your sense of humor. I mean, that's real though on the list. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I love how good you are with kids. What? Whatever, don't overthink it. Don't tell them don't that. Um, what do I love about Nikki is that she's the nicest person I've ever known in my life. But I'm an evil, crazy person. No, 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 no. Well, the, well yeah, that's part of you. But that, the, you're, you're, you, everything that you do is from a place of good. You're always from a place of good and of genuine niceness. And that's why it's always impressive. 
to see how the universe <laughs> will see Nikki with her little ball and she's in a court, right? And she dribbles it three times and then she's going to take a shot and then the universe goes, too true. Yeah, Too right. True. <laughs> and and that's uh, that's that's her to the core, man. She <laughs> means she means so well from everything, and it's impressive to see how many people are her basketball court bullies. Don't make me cry. Well, I'm right, <laughs> but I'm also laughing and crying. Oh, I know you are. You All I want is just, just be included. She just wants to be included, but she wants it too much, and so the universe is yeah, yeah. bullying her for so it. So it's funny. It's, so it's actually it really, really funny. funny. It is funny. It's really funny. Who does JK like more, you or Steve? <laughs> Probably Steve. <laughs> Not you. No. Yeah, think about it for a sec. Think of, actually think about it for a sec. Like more. I, don't, I think they like us an even amount. Oh, how about this? The guys like me more and the girls like Nikki more. Cause that seems to be that way. Okay. Am I crazy? Yeah, sure. How tall are you? Did it ever be a factor that Steve is so much more taller than you? I did not realize how much that would have been a factor before because I've never dated someone as tall as you. Steve is 6'4", I am 5'4". I'm 6'4 and a half, bro. Well, I, well, no, 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 hold on. I only All say right, that. Five year old. But I only say that because when people see me next to other people, even people who are considered tall, people are like, whoa, he's really tall. And it's because I am like abnormally tall. And I'm not saying this to brag. I think I'm like borderline where it looks, you look like you're so tall that looks weird. I think I'm on the edge of that. Maybe. It's not a place of brag for me. It was it's really on the like, edge uh, when you were more lanky. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. since I filled out more. It was like fucking slender like, man. Dude, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, so he is a whole foot taller than me. I didn't realize how much my neck would hurt trying to reach up to that's kiss true. you. That's true. So it took a while to get used to, but now we have it down pretty pat. It's very I bad. stand on my tippy, tippy, tippy we're toes. We're very used and to And he kind of like lifts me up a little bit like, while we're kissing and he kind of bends down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it works. Okay. And the main question everyone keeps asking is Finally, let's do it. When are you gonna have a baby? When are we gonna have a baby? When are you gonna have kids? When is the little Nikki and Steve gonna happen? First of all, we don't exactly know. We don't know. We're not planning I mean, like that. Look, dude. we're both drinking. Well, you don't know what's in this cup. That's guess, true. It could just be milk. <laughs> it would never be milk. Could be almond milk. Nope. Just don't. I don't drink that plain. Nope. Soy milk. It, it just wouldn't be any milk. But it is alcohol. There are no little babies That's inside this uterus no. right now. However, and we've tried. We have talked about it a lot, and it just keeps kind of getting pushed. Cause yeah. the, here's the thing. I never want to resent our kids, you know, for stuff that I haven't done in my life. When I talk to every parent that's a new parent uh, or, or an old parent, they say like, yeah, your life 100% changes. And basically do that's everything sure. you want to do now. Listen to kids. our podcast with Aunt. Oh Christina. my God, yes. We yeah. talked about exactly this at length. Yeah. This is a shorter version of that, but mm -hmm. please check that out if you want to know our full thoughts. Yeah. Um, Cause it's a lot. Adding a new person Adding a new to your life, life that's there in your life forever. Forever. Well, for at least 18 years and you can disavow them or you can put them on a fire station. And but that's not gonna happen. Not with us softies. Why not? Yeah. Uh, we'll try to act as hard as we can, but like, we're yeah. like a bunch of softies. I always here. think that we can always just take it to a fire station. <laughs> it. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so originally I was like, okay, this year I'm gonna do everything I wanna do. And then by the end of the year, we'll, maybe start trying or whatever. But now it's getting close to the end of the year and I haven't done everything I want to do. Yeah. Just little bucket list items, like the four kid bucket list items. For also, sure. we just bought a house and I love decorating. And when you have a kid, everything turns into baby land. Yeah. Another thing about it is that in this current place we got, that we finally got two offices in one house mm -hmm. so both of us can work from awesome. home and not get sick of each other. It's awesome. It's amazing. Well, that my office is gonna turn into the nursery. So, what happens if you both work from home is that you need space. Yeah. If we have a kid and we don't have space, I don't know. But I'm, I wanna have a kid, but I'm like, damn, I already have a kid. He's talking about me. Honey! Honey! You love it. I love you. You fucking love I love, love you. It. So yeah, the dates keep getting pushed, but I think as soon as we 
travel to the places I want to check off. You know, I don't know. Then we'll start trying. I did get checked by my OBGYN. She says that my eggs are really kicking it right she now. She's you're crazy for it. Yeah. I was like, hell yeah, I am. I'm young. I'm a young sprung chicken. Yeah, that's tight. Bitch. Tight. And then she was like, whoa, why did you call me a bitch? She's I'm like, whoa, I'm, I'm not sorry. a bitch. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I didn't mean it. She's actually really cool. I love my guy in Australia. Like, oh, that's cool. Well, because my last one was in Beverly Hills and it was like all uppity. And this one, she's in Burbank and she's like, fuck everything. <laughs> that's cool. I like, yeah, I like those. Yeah. That's how my foot doctor guy was. He was so into cars and shit and cocaine. <laughs> So he was cool. That's he was like, hey man, do you ever see a fucking like Lamborghini Aventador? He's like, please give me one. What do you think of it? And I'm like, dude, you're fucking awesome. But yeah, yes, we are planning to have kids eventually. Yeah. We have the names picked out and everything. We've had them picked out That's for true. years. That I just sucks. don't know when we're gonna meet them. That's it's true. crazy to think that these people will be some of the most important people in our lives. Yeah. And we haven't met them yet. But not the most important people in our lives, because I will always put Nikki first, always especially over you little shits who are watching this right now, maybe in the future. Guess what? I love her more than you. <laughs> By the way, future kids, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little button down there. And, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get the, 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 the notification. There's all things that will probably still be there in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes, yeah. yes. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Sticky Show uh, Q&As, whatever. I'm pretty buzzed now. Are you? Yeah. That's tight. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. If you want more, you know, let us know. <laughs> and follow us on Instagram. Love you, bye.